Joe Biden comes under fire for the second time this month over his statements on working alongside segregationists. One America's Jacob DeMille has all the details. Former Vice President Joe Biden is again under fire on Capitol Hill after touting his past relationships with segregationists as a symbol of bipartisan cooperation. A number of his 2020 rivals criticized the Democrat frontrunner on Wednesday, including candidates Bernie Sanders, Cory Booker, Kamala Harris, and Bill de Blasio. This comes after Biden, during a New York fundraising event on Tuesday, cited pro-segregationist Senators James Eastland and Herman Talmadge as examples of an era when lawmakers were more willing to work together despite their differences. The comment sparked sharp condemnation, with California Senator Kamala Harris calling Biden out for legitimizing Eastland and Talmadge's reputations. But to coddle the reputations of segregationists, of people who, if they had their way, I would literally not be standing here as a member of the United States Senate, is, I think, um, it's just, it's misinformed and it's wrong. Should New York Mayor Bill de Blasio chimed in on Twitter, posting a picture of his multiracial family and pointing out that Senator Eastland would have wanted his family dead and lambasting Biden for glorifying the country's racist past. New Jersey Senator and 2020 candidate Cory Booker also released a statement asking Biden to apologize for his ignorant remarks. In his statement, Booker pointed out that during the fundraiser, Biden joked that Senator Eastland never called him a boy while they worked together, a term that was often used as a way to demean African Americans. Despite the widespread condemnation, Biden on Wednesday chose to double down on his original statement and even called on Cory Booker to apologize for insinuating he is racist. Are you going to I apologize that, like Cory Booker has called for? for what? Cory Booker has called for it. Corey He's asking you to apologize. apologize. He knows better. There's not a racist bone in my body. I've been involved in civil rights my whole career. Period. 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 The former Delaware senator did work with Eastland in the 1970s, where they both fought against desegregationist policies. In 1977, Biden sought support from Eastland and other segregationists to rally against a bill to bus students from majority black neighborhoods to majority white schools as a way to encourage desegregation. In a series of letters to pro-segregationist lawmakers, including Eastland, Biden voiced his ardent disdain for the policy and thanked them for supporting him in his opposition. Eastland was seen throughout his tenure as a white supremacist symbol who consistently spoke of whites as superior to African Americans. This is the second time this month Biden has come under fire after he voiced support for the Hyde Amendment, which blocks federal funds for most abortions. Biden was later forced to do an about face on his stance due to Democrat backlash. According to a poll earlier this month, Biden is currently the favorite among African American Democrat voters. This comes just ahead of the first Democrat primary debates scheduled for next week. Jacob DeMille, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.